Hi everybody, this is Joan Ellingson for How Do You Do. I am not in the puppet shop, I'm in my car. I'm out in the world uh, with a mask uh, and with uh, a hand sanitizer. Um, I am working on our Susical project and I am in need of some more paper because I've got more things to make out of paper. And so I thought I would take you to one of my favorite places in town. I'm going to support a local business. And this is Columbia Arts and Drafting. Um, this is the one that's on Burnside on the northeast side of town. Um, so I've got my mask made by Nancy, who works in our costume shop. It's a little sparkly, and I really like that. Uh, and I've got my hand sanitizer and my bag. Um, and I'm going to take you on a little journey of some of my favorite things uh, that I like to get in art stores. So come with me. This is super weird with a mask on. So I'm in Columbia Arts and Drafting, and this is one of my favorite art stores. Um, I'm talking kind of quietly because people are shopping and it's a little weird to be in a store, but everything is clean here. I got a basket um, and it's just been cleaned and, uh, and they very kindly said I could film because I asked. Um, so this is a huge art store. One of my favorite things about this art store is how much paper they have. They have poster board, matte paper for framing, and then my favorite section is over here. Um, I was here, I was lucky enough to get here a few days ago to start making the props, but I'm out of certain colors. So this is a really great section of colorful paper. Um, and I need to get some more colors for the tails in Susical. So we need a little bit more for Gertrude and she's in shades of yellow. So I'm gonna get um, some of this color yellow. Kind of pretty, I'm gonna, I hope it's okay, but I'm gonna use this table to collect. So I need some yellow there, and then I need some brighter yellow. One, two, let's get four of each. One, two, three, four. Um, and I still have some at the shop, but I was running a bit low. Sometimes when you make something, you're not quite sure how much of the material you need. Um, I'm gonna make the pillberry bush today, and I've been kind of struggling with what color to make it, and I think I'm gonna make it kind of lime greeny. Um, there's some lime green in Gertrude's tail. Or sorry, Maisie's tail. So I want it to not look like that. But I think if I do some lime green, um, maybe an off blue would be kind of nice. So let's see, we've got some yellow, we've got some green. Let's go, with, there's a couple different types. There's different textures and different thicknesses. Um, let's get some real light blue for the pillberry bush. See that, that's a cool line. That's layers of paper. That's kind of like what we're doing. So yellow for Gertrude. I have plenty blue and green for the pillberry. I think I need one more shade of blue or green. When I make things, when I paint or when I craft, I like things to have three colors that represent it. It kind of gives, it helps things look more textured and layered. So I want one more color. That could be fun. That's a pretty blue. Let's see if that's too close to our other blue. No, I like that. All right, so that's our Pillberry Bush paper. This is our Gertrude Tail paper. I put my basket down because this paper is not going to go in there. Um, and then I need, what was the other thing I needed? Normally I have a list, but I'm scared to have too many things to touch or hold in my hand. Oh, the nest. I have to build a nest today. Um, and I was thinking that could be similar to the pillberry bush. We haven't done anything in, could be pink. Look at all these colors. You have to look at all this and say, what am I gonna choose? Let's see. We're not really doing this type of texture. We're not doing prints. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Let's go with pink. All right, let's grab some pink. All right, change made. So for the nest, I'm gonna do kind of classic Seuss colors. I think I'm gonna do white, blue, and red, and ink these. I might even throw some spray paint on here. Um, I'll show you the egg too. I think it's gonna kind of match the egg. I've got more yellow for Gertrude and I've got my paper for the pillberry bush. So that's really good. Um, and I'm just gonna take one more lap. Um, I think I need to get some more markers and I think I need to get some glue. Let's go see if I can find some of that that I like. Here are some of my favorite markers. These are paint markers. They're like giant, giant Sharpies, except they're paint instead of ink. Uh, and we're inking so many things. I think I need some more black. I hope they still have some, oh they do, good. 
So it's always a little dangerous when I go to an art store or a craft store, but I like to see if there's anything I'm missing or anything I need. Um, especially when you're making a new project, sometimes you get inspired by what you see. I have to make some snowballs, and I was going to make them out of fleece, but they have styrofoam balls, which I don't normally use. So let's get a few of these. I think that will be good for our snowballs. Maybe I can cover them a little bit with paper. That could be fun. We'll get a couple different sizes. Yeah, that seems good. I found some crinkly paper for our nest, which is cool. I got some new markers. Um, I think we're almost there. They have all this fun stuff. Look at this glitter glue. You could make slime. Markers, craft book ideas. This is one of my other favorite things in the store. All the different colors of masking tape. Whenever I'm in an art store, I can't stop thinking about all the fun things I could make with all of this stuff. Look at all these different types of glue. I need some glue. I need need some glue. But there's a sale section up in the front. Let's go look on what's on sale. Um, and I think I've got my paper. I've got a few bits and bobs. Um, I've got my new black markers. I'm, I think we're good. I need to now not look around, because if I do, I will find more things that I want. All right, let's see. Let's go to the front. Right. At Columbia Arts and Drafting, we always have this sale section. This is buy one, get one free. And I need some glue, and it's buy one, get one free. So these are liquid glues. These are for the stop animation sequence. That sounds great. Um, I think that's all we need. Just look at what they've got. Some fun stuff. All right, I think I'm going to go check out. So, John here again. I'm in Columbia Arts and Drafting, and this is Lasha. Did I say it right? Yes. Awesome. And I was just saying that I'm working on Seussical, and you took classes at Rosa Children's Theater? Yes. First one was three, um, and I was in the play with my sisters, and it was with Carolyn Newsom putting me in the play as a young one, as a white bird for Cinderella to yell at when she was really upset at her evil stepsisters. Like Cinderella does. Of course. And so it was a lot of fun, and I remember this, like, still, like, someone our age pushed me on probably they're like 18 like, okay, go, go, go. and that was my first appearance we still have theater. to help kids on stage sometimes exactly. when they're learning so it was a lot of fun but i do some other course like i did different camps over the years and i always love walking by north of stone theater so. we do Thank we you. do too so right when we're, we're okay. and you work here at columbia arts and yes i do i do well, if you're following How Do You Do videos and need art supplies, you guys are open and you're doing pickup, is that right? We do. Um, you can pick it up here at the store and we can also, if you need it, call it in. If you want to need it to be delivered, uh, we can do a phone transaction and we can just pick it out what you need and we can help you find anything you need in the store. I do a lot of acrylic painting myself and love to answer a lot of questions from pigments. This is incredible. Mediums, so yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you're following How Do You Do and you need supplies and they're not in your house, this is the place to get it. It's so nice to bump into you. Yeah, you too. And it's, yeah, that's, oh, we can't, well, we can't yeah, shake. Can't we'll shake it from afar. There yeah, we go. Like that. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cool. Woo! All right. I am back in my car and I'm just going to put in a hand sanitize real quick because that's what I do after I go out into the world that we live in now. Woo. Clean your hands, clean your hands, then I'll go home and wash my hands, wash my hands while they sing the ABCs. Oh, well, that was incredible. We met an amazing artist in town. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've been watching How Do You Do, this is a place where you could get supplies. They had glue sticks. Oh, I forgot to get more glue sticks. I'll go back another time. I only go out once a day. Um, that was really fun. So... Uh, yeah, got more paper, got some more new supplies, so I'm off to the puppet shop, uh, and maybe, I know I was going to take a bit of a pause, but I think I'm going to build a pillberry bush today or tomorrow, so maybe I'll film that and you'll get to see how some of this paper becomes a prop for our Seussical the Musical show, the digital show. Thanks for following along, support local businesses if you can, if you feel safe, um, stay safe, and thanks for watching How Do You Do? See you later, everybody!